COVID chain down one variant is all over in the news. Is it more dangerous and what we can do? Hello, I am Dr. Nikita Toshi and today we will be talking about the new sub-variant of Omicron called JN.1, its symptoms and measures to stay safe from it. JN.1 is closely related to BA.2.86 which is a sub-lineage of Omicron. JN.1 has been classified as the variant of interest by the WHO. Here are the symptoms of JN.1 variant in India to watch for. Symptoms like cough, cold, fatigue, headache, body ache, fever and digestive troubles like vomiting, diarrhea, decrease in appetite, nausea, etc. are the symptoms that you must watch for. According to WHO experts, JN.1 can cause a full spectrum of illness, right from asymptomatic infection to mild, moderate, severe disease and even death. The cases of severe illnesses, hospitalizations and deaths reported are comparatively very less with this variant so far. Due to the higher transmissibility rate of JN.1, it is important to stay vigilant, especially if you feel unwell. Consult your doctor, isolate yourself beforehand so that you do not spread the infection to others. During this time of the year, there are possibilities of other viral and bacterial infections also which may present with similar symptoms as SARS-CoV-2. So it is important to not self-diagnose and self-medicate but consult a doctor, get yourself tested so that you get the appropriate and correct treatment on time. Now let's talk about the preventive measures to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. So my friends, it's time to follow the COVID appropriate behavior sincerely. We all know about the respiratory etiquettes and the hand hygiene, the distancing protocols. Let's start practicing it again so that we can reduce the spread of the viruses and save the ones who are at higher risk from getting infected. People with chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, heart diseases, need to monitor their health parameters and stay safe. People who are at a higher risk of severe illness due to COVID are the ones with weak immune system, those on immune suppressive medications, those taking chemotherapy and same goes with pregnant women and newborns. There is no need to panic but we all must act responsibly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay safe and take care. Thank you.